Just when people of India were prepping up to welcome the new year, the fear of COVID-19 is back. Four years on, since the first case of COVID-19 was seen in China, we're again back again discussing the increase of COVID-19 cases. I'm Chetna Belgire. Welcome to South First. The terms mask up, quarantine, testing, genome sequencing, variants is all has all resurfaced with the finding of JN.1 in Kerala, in India. So all of us are obviously tensed. So to discuss on whether there is any panic kind of situation, we have with us Dr. K. Ravi, the head of the Department of Medicine at Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. And he's now heading the newly formed Technical Advisory Committee for COVID-19 in Karnataka. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you it has been much. It has been very busy days uh, since the last few days, I understand. Uh, if you could tell us, what is the COVID-19 situation in Karnataka? Uh, to exactly... Tell you the COVID situation in Karnataka is not so panic as the public are thinking. I would like to reiterate it. It's not so panicky situation as it is being shown. We have at about 60 active cases as on yesterday afternoon, 12 o'clock. It's only 60 active cases which are there. So it's not nothing to be panic as such. No. Okay. So have we found JN.1 JN in Karnataka, sir? First of all, let me... In clarify. Karnataka, no, not yet. We have not isolated this species of JN1 in Karnataka. It's Till now, it's there in four countries, the US, the China, Singapore, and uh, one in India. The one in India was detected in Kerala in a lady who was just had mild symptoms with fever, cough, and they did the routine checkup for COVID for her. And incidentally, it was detected positive and they sent it for genomic sequencing. It had turned out to be JN1. And that lady is fine now, actually. Okay, so if you're looking at the uniqueness of the subvariant JN1, is it going to create a new wave kind of situation? Are you expecting that? As of now, the literature we have got from outside and the information, as of now, it is not. It is a subvariant of Omicron, which we had. It is emerged in the late 2023, descendant of the BA 2.86 of the Omicron series. So it is not a threat as of now. However, we need to wait and watch. Okay, so there was a TAC meeting held on Sunday and there ha there have there has a guideline also which has come out from the health department. But then is there anything specific other than wearing of masks and, uh, you know, the following the protocol, the COVID-19 protocols which were given earlier? Is there anything else which the public has to do now? No, the public, I want to just tell the public, don't get panic out of this COVID. We, are, uh, we had a pandemic of COVID. Now this... But COVID is almost an endemic disease, which we will be getting on and off depending on the mutations. So I would like to request the public not to panic, but not to forget the COVID appropriate behavior. If you have various risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, some respiratory disease problems, you it's better, particularly the elderly individuals when you are going out, you, you can wear a mask and nothing prevents you from wearing a mask and going outside. Try to avoid these overcrowded areas, particularly because we don't know. So many of them might be carrying it also. It's not a JN1, something the respiratory viruses as such. So it's better they take the precautions. Okay. So given that JN1 is reported to spread faster and potentially evade immunity, what steps have been suggested to the health department to monitor and mitigate the spread? Yeah. This we have suggested to the health department since... We are skeptical about this JN1 going to be spreading rapidly. So first of all, we need to know the increase in the trend of there is the number of cases in our state. To know the increase in the uh, cases in our state, we have uh, requested the health department to do more number of testings, particularly those individuals who land up with SARI and ILI, so that more number of tests are done and the cases can be detected. And in those patients whom the tests are positive, particularly those individuals with SARI or those who are admitted with very serious respiratory conditions in the hospital, we have advised them to do the genomic testing, which is very important in identifying the different species, particularly the one which is in use, the JN1 also. Okay. So there are uh, certain questions from the public now. One is, 
who should test because you know now the health department will do its independent test but then uh, who should test among the people like i think testing is kind of forgotten now so they have this doubt whether you know anybody with cold cough and fever should test or who should test for covid-19 yeah or as you rightly put it people with cold cough are called as simple ili influenza like illnesses and those patient with sari sari is a severe acute respiratory illnesses if you meet your consultant i think they will be able to tell you at least so if you have a fever cough com, uh, common cold you ideally fall under that category of ili so these individuals should consult their doctor if the doc if his physician or if his consultant finds that he needs testing after examining him definitely he needs to undergo the testing however patients with sari that is severe acute respiratory illness it is compulsory to get it tested okay so once the test is done if the covid 19 is confirmed then what is the protocol they should follow now is it any different what yeah. do you do no as of now the protocols are same isolate himself once he is turned out to be positive probably there'll be people from new now since again it's the process is going to start people have to get isolated themselves take the advisor covid appropriate behavior self isolation and treatment after his consulting his doctor but however if the patient is having uh, sari like symptoms that is severe acute respiratory is having breathing problem and all those things better to take the advice of the uh, doctor and visit the hospital so with jn1 is the symptom any different no as of now the symptoms are same presenting to like any other covid symptoms of fever cough cold so one last quest question should people be going in for booster for the new variant or is it enough that we have all been vaccinated now what is it like no it's too premature to talk about it but definitely whatever we have taken the vaccination hit will have some protection against this virus also i won't say that there is no protection against this Uh, this species of the virus definitely there will be some amount of protection though it might not be an hundred percent protection. So, if you could quickly wrap up with what should people do and not do? Yeah, I would request the public not to panic because of the onset of these new virus. Please follow the COVID appropriate behavior. You, as soon as you develop some symptoms of fever, cough, cold. you consult your doctor your physician your family physician i think he will be appropriate person to examine you and ask for the test get yourself tested for covid positive i think many of the time when we talk to the public about get yourself tested they wait us tell why do we need to get it tested so i feel you do not neglect it it doesn't it's not going to harm you if you are going to get tested and you're going to be tested positive also because you can take the prevention and protect your neighbors your family members from getting it by isolating yourself that is all don't panic but report yourself okay sir thank you very much it was wonderful having you on the show thanks a lot sir thank you thank you very much